We hope you enjoyed your lab on thermal mixing. As you learned from the lab, adding cold water to hot water causes the temperature of the hot water to decrease. The temperature decreases because the water is losing energy and trying to achieve a state of thermal equilibrium. What this means is that eventually the hot and cold water will reach the same temperature. Thermal equilibrium is not only found in the cold and hot water example, but also in our everyday lives. In the summer, it can get so hot in our house that we are forced to run our air conditioner. With our AC running, the temperature inside is cool and keeps us from sweating. But what happens when the front door is left open? Cold air will escape from the house and warm air will come into the house. The transfer of heat to the cold air is the process of thermal equilibrium. When the cold and hot air collide over time, they will balance out, resulting in a hot summer house. Another example is when you make a cup of hot tea on the stove. The tea is too hot to drink, so you put an ice cube in it. The tea will cool down as the heat is transferred from the tea to the ice, causing the ice to melt. Thermal equilibrium works the same for cold objects. If you leave a cup of ice water out long enough, the ice in the cup will melt, and eventually it will be the same temperature of the surrounding environment. That is because the environment is losing heat to the cup as they both try to reach thermal equilibrium. Thanks for watching.